So Kawasaki disease has been recognized for a long time, and it really is as horrible as it sounds. There's inflammation of every organ of the body. Usually what people see first is the skin, but the thing that we're most afraid about is it affects the heart, and inflammation of the heart is always dangerous. Okay. Well, only a small, relatively small number of children have fallen ill or tested positives, rather, uh, with the virus, which causes COVID-19. So at this stage, how concerned should we be? I think it's very important to be aware of because generally with viral infections, we don't suppress the immune system. But for Kawasaki syndrome, we do because we don't want that inflammation to damage the heart permanently. So it's a complete mind shift in terms of treatment. You're correct. It's a small number of children with this complication, but we know that hyperinflammation does cause disease in adults as well in kids. One of the surprises is in adults, it's really limited to the lungs, whereas in kids, it causes this much more protean inflammatory process. Okay. Well, given this is quite early days that at least UK doctors have raised the alarm, what measures could be taken for a wider scale? So this, now that the UK physicians have alerted people, it has now been noted in the US and in Italy, so it's not geographically isolated. And I think knowing that this is a potential complication in children is hugely important. We know how to treat Kawasaki's and we know how to treat hyperinflammation. It's empowering people to recognize that it can be associated with COVID-19 and instituting treatment appropriately, which is in fact immune suppression, which feels sort of wrong when you're dealing with an infection. Kate Sullivan, Professor of Pediatrics at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, thanks for joining us here on the program.